What's going on YouTube? As you can hear, my oven is ready to go. We're making tacos today, all right? We're making some nice chicken tacos with a nice pineapple and mango salsa. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. But before we get into that, um, I wanna talk a little bit about what we're doing on the channel going forward. We're doing, as usual, we're doing some, some gaming, but that's not everything. We do a lot of food and recipes and follow along recipes on this channel. We're doing reaction and commentary on this channel as well, but that's not our main goal for this channel. Our main goal is to entertain you guys. Ladies and gents out there in YouTube land, we're here to um, entertain you, all right? So leave us a comment in the comment section about how we can go about doing that a little bit more. But until then, we're gonna eat some tacos. I'm gonna take you along on the journey with me. Let's go eat some tacos, show you how to prep this, all right? Let's go. All right, ladies and gents, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what we are, what our ingredients are for this um, taco recipe. First of all, we got some Japanese sweet potato. We're gonna need some sweet and sour sauce, or sweet chili, sweet chili sauce. We're gonna need some chicken thighs. You can use whatever chicken you want, chicken breast, chicken legs, whatever. We're using thighs for this recipe, all right? We have ourselves some broccoli, some peppers, some more broccoli, and we have some green onions, all right? Set that aside. We got our pineapple, and we got our mango. All right, guys. Uh, you're gonna need some um, lime as well. Ideally, you want some rice wine vinegar. So, I don't have any rice wine vinegar right now, so I'm gonna use a little bit of red wine vinegar. But if you do have the rice wine, use the rice wine instead. We're gonna have a little bit of salt, a little pepper, and a little bit of, I mean, yeah. We're gonna have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some smoked paprika. We have some wraps for our tacos. That's what we're using today. A sexy little pan, <laughs> all right? That's what we're starting with. So I'm gonna go into our prep montage right now. So after that, we'll bring you back and then we will get our tacos going. Let's get into it.
Alright ladies and gents, uh, welcome back after that prep montage. This is pretty much your salsa right here. This is the base of your salsa. We have the pineapple and the mango underneath. We have the broccoli. We have the peppers. And now we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of lime juice. Um, and a little bit of our red wine vinegar. Uh, because we don't have our rice wine vinegar. Alright, so that's all. Just a little bit. To give it a little bit of... You know that acidity flavor but yeah got some lime you no know, some of that nice tropical flavors just a little bit more lime And I really wish I had some red rice wine vinegar, but it should be all right. A little bit of red wine vinegar. Give that a toss. Now tell me if you don't see summer in this dish right now. Summer is just creeping up. Give that a little taste, make sure everything's nice. Mmm. So good. Alright. Salsa's done. You just want to wrap that, put it in the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes or so. And wait till your chicken and your potatoes are done. Once your chicken is done roasting in the oven, you're gonna um, pretty much uh, shred your chicken and that's gonna we're gonna use that to assemble the rest of our tacos all right but we'll take you through that let's go all right welcome back now that your chicken is um, fully cooked through let's give you a little bit of preview it doesn't matter if your skin's a little bit dark you're gonna cut that up and add it into your tacos that's just more flavor more caramelization more sweetness so you're just gonna take it and shred your chicken apart. Ooh, look at that lovely skin. All right, skin. Just wanna cut that up. A 
that to your plate. It's a little bit hot, so if you want to use a tong, use a knife, the meat should come off the bone pretty nicely. You want to cook this for like uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it because like the sweet chili sauce has um, some sugar content in it that likes to burn. So if you do not pay attention to it, it will burn on you. So 20, 30 minutes and keep an eye. Look at that. The bone just comes right out. So you don't have to go boneless because you cook this properly. You don't have to worry. The bone will just fall off. Just pretty much just scraping the meat away. And for those of you all who like the bone, <laughs> have at it. I know there's some people out there that love the marrow and stuff in the bones, so be my guest and eat it all. Like I'm not shying away from it. After the camera turns off, I'm definitely gonna go at one of these bones. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so good. It's bone marrow, you know? It's, it's, it's good for you. It's like you ever went to um, a Korean spot, a Caribbean spot, and they're serving like jerk chicken. You know? Exactly what they do. Take it off the drum, the grill, chop it up, put it in your plate, and you're good to go. Bet you didn't know you can make tacos out of that now, did you? You know, ladies and gents, I could be on vacation right now. I could be. But instead, I decided to stay here, make some tacos, and entertain, entertain you lovely, lovely viewers of the studio's channel. You guys are amazing, by the way. Stay amazing always. Hit that subscribe button. It does help us out a lot. Hit the like button. She tells YouTube that you enjoy our content and you want to see more of it. And you like to see it go out to other people so they can enjoy it just like you're enjoying it right now. All right. And if you do like this recipe, if you try this recipe out and you do like this recipe, Come back and leave us a comment and be like, you know, I appreciate you cooking this taco dish for us and it was bomb. So I would like to give you my appreciation for cooking it and uh, my five star from Uber Eats. I'm just, I'm just messing with y'all. <laughs> but yeah, definitely leave some love in the comment section down below. We appreciate it and enjoy that stuff. And if you think there's, a, you can critique too. So if you think you can do, um, there's something you would change about this dish when I'm done, let us know as well. We always like to revisit our recipes and tweak it to our, uh, you know, take it to better heights. So now that your chicken's all done, we can assemble our tacos because we have our slaws ready it's been in the fridge for about 20 minutes 30 minutes all those flavors can combine so we're gonna take that out we're gonna let it sit a little bit and we're gonna assemble our tacos so let's go join me